God, glory be to him. And compassion be upon us forever. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Today, as we are celebrating this feast of Pesach, which is a word that means Passover, we are reminded and we participate in, in the first Qurbana that was celebrated by our Lord with the Apostles at the table. You know, many times I think, what does worship look like? We live in a country and in a society nowadays that there are many different churches and ne- many different types of worship. And many times people will say, oh, well, the Orthodox Church is a more traditional type of worship, but we're more contemporary or different things like that. But to me, when I talk about, when I think of worship, and when we see what God looks at as what is worship, it is not something that is simply just singing songs or having a choir or having a band or having those types of things. That's not what we see throughout the scripture. You see our Lord come here and he takes bread and wine and he says, this is my body, this is my blood, take and eat, take and drink for the life of the world. And he gives it to everyone and he says, do this in remembrance of me. I talked on Sunday a little bit about this Greek word which means remembrance. Does anybody remember? Anamnesis. Anamnesis. It's the same thing here. This event is outside of time. Till he comes again, we continue to participate in this, what is called not Last Supper, but Mystical Supper. It's a mystery. Rehasyam, as we sing. It's a mystery that we are participating in. But when I, you know, as we're going through this Holy Week and I was thinking about the offerings, you know, we look here and Jesus says, this is the cup of the new covenant. The new covenant, this new agreement God has with His people. If you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you shall live. You shall be forgiven of your sins. This is what we constantly participate in. But at the same time, if He says new, there must have been an old covenant. And we look in the Old Testament and we can see that God made a covenant with Moses where a a lamb was killed and the blood of the lamb was sprinkled on the people and put in the basins. And that's why we sing this song, Pesahayal, Arden and Pesahal is removed. That, that, that Passover lamb is removed and now fulfilled in Christ. Because all through the Old Testament, this is what they were doing. And so this idea of when you come to worship God, you should come as a, with offering. But even before that, even before that, in the, I was reading the prayers this week, And in the night prayers, there's one beautiful uh, hymn in the prayers on Monday night. And it talks about Cain and Abel. And there's an exchange, just like you you see on Good Friday, the exchange between the two thieves. There's an exchange between Cain and Abel uh, about why God is rejecting Cain's offering. You know, we know the story of Cain and Abel. We know that Cain was... Um, a herdsman, he worked with the cattle and all. And then Abel was the farmer. And we learned all through, uh, from a young age, we learned that God accepted whose offering? Abel's. And rejected Cain's. But we never really understand, and the scripture doesn't really say why. Why does God accept Abel's? But reject, rejects Cain. So part of me, I think when I was growing up, thought, oh, maybe God didn't like the fact that Cain had to kill an animal. Or God preferred farmers over herdsmen. I don't know. But actually, when we look at it, and when the church fathers talk about it, it wasn't anything about the process, because they both offered. But their hearts were different. And God goes, when, when Cain hears that his offering is rejected, his heart is his, it says his countenance falls and, his, and he's sorrowful. And God tells him, you, didn't, you did the right thing, but you didn't do it with the right heart. You didn't do it with the right heart. And I think it's a reminder for us that number one, when we come to church, we don't come just to sing, just to praise. We come to offer. That's why central in the Orthodox Church is the Holy Altar. More than anything else in every Orthodox church, the center point is the altar. 
That's the focal point. But on an altar, just like in the olden times, there is a sacrifice that's made here. This is why we refer to our service as kurbana, Syriac word which means sacrifice. Because we come to offer the sacrifice fulfilled in Christ. Christ himself is the offering for, for all of us to participate in and be healed of our sins. But the thing we have to ask ourselves, Cain and Abel both offered. Abel's was accepted, Cain's was rejected. And in the same way, we should be asking ourselves, am I coming with the right heart every time I come for Qurbana? Is my heart a heart of repentance? Is my heart, or am I looking to use God for things? Am I coming to take Qurbana to get other things? Am I coming to God, partaking of this body and blood, looking for 30 pieces of silver, like Judas? I always remember that Judas was at the table. He got to partake. But for him, it wasn't redemption and forgiveness of sins because his heart wasn't right. It's the same warning we have for us. As much as we may think, oh, another Holy Week, another Pesach, another Kurbana, it's, it's very important for us to come with that sense of fear, that sense of, what am I about to partake in? Am I taking it the right way? Is my heart prepared? Is my heart a heart of repentance? I'm very thankful that much of our church has tried to participate in confession over this Holy Week and still plans to do so throughout this week. But this is something that we have to constantly remind ourselves of. And a prayer that we should always have is, let me not partake of this the way Judas did. Let me partake of this in a worthy manner. May all glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, forever and ever. Amen.